Namaste. In this session, we will look at the visualization technique for handling outliers. Now, just a few pointers before we begin. We should ideally first split the dataset into training and testing, and then apply the outlier engineering techniques onto the training set only, because we want to keep the testing set untouched until the very end when we do the predictions. Okay, or when we transform the test set using the data from the training set. Because we'll also want to see how such a model performs on unseen data, which may or may not contain outliers. We want to see that the techniques that we have applied, the outlier engineering techniques, how good are they or how bad are they when they really face the real world data. But here, what we'll assume is that the entire data that we have is our training set, and that we have a separate testing set waiting for us. Okay. So first, I've imported all the necessary modules and the libraries, and I'll be using the Fetch California housing. Now I'll quickly just make a data frame out of it. Okay, so this is the whole data frame of the Fetch California housing. But I'll drop the latitude and longitude columns because you see I cannot say that 37.88 is better than 37.86 just because the numerical value is better because these two are just points on a map, and hence I'll be dropping these two. Now I've I just plotted the plots for different columns before doing the visualization technique. Okay. So you see how right skewed, how heavily skewed these plots are, these histograms are, and we can also see from the box plots that these contain so many outliers, potential outliers. So now we'll cap these outliers using this percentile method, which is also known as visualization technique. So first, I made a copy of this data set in df underscore cap. Okay. Now in the previous few lectures, where we where we saw the IQR technique or the z-score method, we used this kind of a method for capping the outliers or for trimming the outliers. But here we will use a different method. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm looping through each column at a time in the data set. Okay, and from low end, this argument is what percentile of the value do I have to cap at the lower end? Okay, so if I input 0.01 here, which it would mean that I want to cap all my values which are lesser than one percentile. To be equal to one percentile value, and from the higher end, this means that, for example, if I want to cap at ninety-nine percentile value, then I would input here zero point zero one again because now I'm looking at from the right hand side how much do I want to cap. Okay, so from the right hand side, I want to go zero point zero one, and hence here my upper bound will be a quantile of one minus the higher end because if my higher end is zero point zero one, then this would be quantile of one minus zero point zero one, which is zero point nine nine. But here I will not use this method, and and of course then we can do this np dot where where we say that if the value is greater than the upper not whisker, my upper bound, then replace it with the upper bound. Otherwise, if the value is lesser than the lower bound, then replace it with the lower bound. Otherwise, just keep it as it is. Okay. So what we are basically doing is. We have for each particular column, for example, for this population column, we are finding the 99th percentile value, and we are going to cap all the values which are greater than this 99th percentile to be equal to the 99th percentile value. And any value less than the 1 percentile value, we'll just cap them to be equal to 1 percentile value. So I'll just comment this line. Now, now what I'll do is I'll use a very powerful function from scipy dot stats. Which will do this particular thing in just one line of code. So, so to do that, what I'll do is I'll say stats dot m stats dot win so rise. Now this requires two arguments at least. One is the a, a is the which is the array. So my array is my df of and my next is my limits argument. So I need to pass them in this way. Now what is my first is my from lower limit. Now the first argument here is the from low end. So I'll say from low end, and the next argument is from high end. Okay. So this visualize function this works by by taking as inputs the percentile value from the low end and from the high end. And I'll also set in place is equal to true. Now we'll just apply this function. I'll say percentile underscore capping. Now the first argument is data frame, which is my df underscore cap. Then my list of columns. So my list of columns. Are stored in. If I see, they are stored in this features list. Okay, so I'll say features and the next two arguments. 
my from low end and from high end so if i want to have a 90% visualization window then what i'll do is i'll say 0.1 0 or 10% and 0.10 again from the right end okay so from the low end i want to cap at 10% and from the high end also i want to cap at 10% so this is basically 1 minus 0.1 or 90 percentile so this is just another way of saying the same thing but i will not choose a 90 percent window i'll choose a 98 percent window so i'll say cap at 1 percent from the lower end and cap at 1 percent from the higher end as well so my basically my acceptable value range will be from 1 percentile until 98 percent 99 percentile which is a range of 98 percentiles okay so you can choose any other value as well you can go with 0.001 as well or any other value so when i execute this now it has capped my values the minimum value of a particular column to be at 1 percentile and the maximum value to be at the 99th percentile okay so if i check df underscore cap dot describe i get this result okay now you see for the population the maximum value is 5807 but for the df original data frame the maximum value was 35682 so we have capped at 99 percentile because if i check my if i see df of population dot quantile of 0.99 if i look at the 99th quantile it is 5805 okay which is approximately what we are getting here so this is the maximum cap value 5807 okay so this is just what this vensorize function is doing in one line of code now if you just plot the columns well you see the skewness has been reduced in most of the features you see this was such a highly right skewed now it is an acceptable range and the box plot also looks better now we have a new set of outliers so these outliers they have been regenerated with respect to the new conditions that we have set of the 1 percentile and 99 percentile cap values okay but we do not need to go on uh, capping the outliers the ones should be enough okay so this is how we can use the vincerization technique to cap the outliers thank you for watching